on 11 News at 10. Some of the world's best bikers are competing in Colorado, and local groups are pushing to hit the stage in future races. Live from Grand Junction's news leader, this is 11 News at 10. 11 minutes of nonstop news, and your no wait weather starts now. I would love to see it happen. As 136 of the world's best bikers embark on a tour of Colorado, one local group is embarking on a tour of the Grand Valley, trying to build public support for the race, which they hope to bring right here. Good evening and thanks for making 11 News at 10. Number one, I'm Glenn Mills. And I'm Jean Reynolds. We are so glad to have you with us. The first ever U.S. Pro Cycling Challenge is officially underway. And while riders spend the next week trying to win the title, one local committee will spend the next week trying to win the community support as they get ready to submit a bid to host a stage of the race in 2012. 11 News reporter Tim Ciesco joining us live in the studio with more on their efforts. Tim. Well, each night of the race, members of the community are teaming up with local bike shops and restaurants to host watch parties. Their first real big public outreach push. They say this is an important piece of their work because race organizers will take community support into account when they pick the stage host for 2012. I know how big the sport already is in the community, and um, there is, but still, there's so much potential. Potential that the Grand Junction USA Pro Cycling Challenge local organizing committee wants to tap into. They hope to make strides with social settings, food and drink specials, prizes, and race education. This is a giant marketing coup for Grand Junction if we can nail this thing. Chris Brown, who owns Brown Cycles, is the host of tonight's watch party at the Rockside. As a bike fanatic, he says he'd love an excuse to rub elbows with the world's best riders here in his hometown, but points out if the committee earns a stage, the whole valley would win. Over 400 reporters are covering that thing internationally over in Colorado Springs as we speak. So uh, you can get that kind of marketing for a Grand Junction uh, small town. That's pretty good stuff. Not to mention the crowds it would draw. Committee members say their counterparts in Crescent Butte are expecting 35 to 40,000 people when the race comes through tomorrow. CMU cycling coach Richard Gang says it would be nice to see something like that in Mesa County. We really support uh, what's going on in the community right now with uh, this big hype. With one watch party down and six more to go, the committee hopes they see a lot more responses like that. Now, tomorrow night's watch party will take place at the Hot Tomato Cafe in Fruta from 4 o'clock p.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. For a full schedule of all the watch parties, you can head over to NBC11news.com and click on this story. Gene, we'll send it back to you at the desk. Thanks, Tim. German writer Patrick Gretsch posted the best time in today's time trials in Colorado Springs. Tomorrow, racers will ride from Salida to Crested Butte.